The Rolando community is mourning tonight after a beloved veterinarian was murdered. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. Kirsten has the evening off. A memorial outside the Boulevard Animal Clinic is growing tonight after police identified the victim as 88 year old Clark Kelly. Now police say they believe that he tried to stop a burglar at the clinic and that cost him his life. CBS 8's Anna Laurel spoke to community members about Dr. Clark's impact in that area. People of the Southeast, what's happening? Today I'm bringing y'all a story that comes out of Rolando Village, a neighborhood 15 minutes north of East San Diego that involves a local veterinarian who will end up losing his life in the process of someone breaking into his business and robbing him. Now, sometimes I might not always be able to give y'all the full details on some of these cases, being that some of them might still be open. But as for this case, this one is two years old at the time of me making this video, and the suspect has already been charged. So all I can do now is give you the story and give you a little bit of information on the victim and the suspect. So like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos in the future. Let's get to it. On Wednesday, June 15th, 2022, around 2.30 p.m. that afternoon, 88-year-old Dr. Clark Kelly, who was a longtime veterinarian in the Rolando neighborhood for almost 50 years, would suddenly hear a noise coming from the back room at his animal clinic. When he would go and check out the noise, he would be met with 39-year-old Patrick O'Brien. Patrick was a homeless schizophrenic man who lived in a tent almost two blocks away from Clark's animal clinic, and during the daytime, he would usually walk around the neighborhood panhandling or collecting aluminum cans. But on this day, he would do something totally different. When Dr. Kelly would open the door to the back room, he was met by Patrick, who accidentally startled him, sending him to cardiac arrest as he fell to the floor. And Patrick would take off running through the front door of the animal clinic, being spotted by Dr. Kelly's wife. And when Clark's wife ran to the back room to see what happened, she would find her husband on the floor not breathing, with a cut on his head. And immediately, she ran next door to the liquor store for help. But by then, it was too late. Clark was immediately rushed to the hospital after the police and paramedics responded to the call. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Today, the liquor store next door shared with me security footage of Dr. Clark's wife running and crying for help minutes after the attack. In this footage, you can see the owner and his brother run to help Dr. Clark's wife. Off camera, the owner tells me he and his brother saw the gruesome scene with their own eyes. He also tells me the burglar entered the liquor store and bought a charger two hours before the attack but didn't notice any odd behavior during their encounter. Dr. Clark's death has now left the Rolando neighborhood and his family broken. Those who knew him say he was loving and passionate about his work. Caring for all his furry patients. Anderson even telling me Dr. Clark saved her pet from dying and adding that it was unfair that she wasn't there to help save his. According to detectives, it turns out that Dr. Kelly would end up suffering a heart attack after being spooked by Patrick, and by the time paramedics arrived, there would be nothing they could do for him. Immediately, detectives began questioning his wife on what she saw, but she really couldn't get an accurate description, being that Patrick ran past her too fast. So detectives would then go check the surveillance cameras at the liquor store next door, and that was when they would get an accurate description on their suspect. But it turns out, detectives didn't have to do any searching, being that a citizen saw the whole thing take place, following Patrick behind the clinic in a wooded area, detaining him 40 minutes after the incident. Then detectives would arrest him and book him on one count of burglary and first degree murder. Patrick O'Brien admitted to the break-in. The 39-year-old who was living on the streets at the time of the crime was spotted by Dr. Kelly, who called 911 and then collapsed and died. The medical examiner's office classified Dr. Kelly's death as a homicide, saying he would not have died that day if he wasn't under so much stress from the break-in. O'Brien was originally charged with murder, but under a deal, he pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter. Slaughter. His attorney said O'Brien never actually touched Dr. Kelly, who had a long history of heart problems. Now, according to prosecutors, Dr. Kelly had already had a long history of heart problems, so they would end up changing Patrick's charges to involuntary manslaughter, being that he never actually touched Dr. Kelly before he went into cardiac arrest, landing him a four-year prison sentence. But due to time being served since his arrest on June 15th, 2022, he was released on April 2nd, 2024. And as part of his plea deal, he would be on supervised probation for two more years, making him 
a free man. O'Brien, who has been in jail since his arrest in 2022, was sentenced to four years in custody, but with time served, he will be released on April 2nd in mandatory supervision with GPS tracking. Dr. Kelly's family made it clear they are not pleased with the sentence, saying for their dad, justice has not been served. You are now free to walk and live and breathe, and my dad is dead, cold and never coming back. Our lives will never be the same. And Dr. Kelly's family says after the death, they had to close his business. And even now, two years later, they are still suffering from anxiety and depression. And just like that, folks, this concludes all the knowledge I have on this case. I would like to thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos in the future. I'm out.